Hello there, everybody. Okay, so welcome to the uh, March Psychic Reading for Scorpio. My name is Piper. Welcome to Prophecy. Um, if you guys are um, looking for information on a personal reading, you can go to the description box below. That information is there, as well as the link to the extended read for this reading. So just click on the link for the extended read, and it'll take you to Vimeo, where you can watch it there. So, I would love it if you could subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you so much. All right, so, you guys, um, I am going to use some cards here. I will channel a message initially in the beginning of the read, and then we'll talk about that. I'll also pull two supporting cards from the um, Tarot of the Imagination and um, we'll talk about those as well. In the extended read, I'm going to pull uh, three oracle cards for you guys. One for finance and work, one for love, and one for uh, purposeful meaning for the month of March. That's advice from spirit. And um, I'll relate each one of them to the two cards that I pull in this read. Okay, so you'll get a little bit of a deeper look of how this is all going to be working out in the, in the month of March. All right. I have to excuse me. My voice is ragged. And drinking tea. Okay, so let's do this. All right. Scorpio. I have had enough. I hope you are happy with this decision. I make enough money now to support you. So that should be fine if it's what you want. You don't have to worry anymore. I'm here with you. I've got you. And I know what you need. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, uh, somebody's got somebody's back in the month of March. Um, that was, um, I, I, so I feel like you guys are, you're going to make a big decision in the month of March. Um, someone has your back. Someone can support you. Someone makes enough money. Someone um, loves you. Um, they're your partner in crime. Um, it's a beautiful thing. So somebody was given a little bit of freedom and maybe it went too far or maybe it got out of hand, but I don't feel like it was a bad thing. I feel like it was a good thing. It felt good. <laughs> it, it, it started out innocently enough, but then it became, things became passionate and heated and there it was. Somebody's pregnant. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so somebody's pregnant and it's a result of obviously a, a, fairly delightful sexual encounter. So I don't know whether it's you Scorpio or the person that you're dealing with. I don't know whether this is you saying this to someone or someone saying this to you in the month of March, but I feel like you're going to be totally and completely supported in your decision to either leave your job or have this baby or, or whatever that decision might be. I do feel like most of you who are faced with this decision are uh, married or at least uh, dedicated to somebody in, in that way. Um, if the, For those of you that are completely and totally single, I think you're dealing with someone who's close to you who is going either going through this or um, going through this with somebody else. So... <clears throat> um, and as far as the rest of it goes, I think it's it's about 
because you're married, um, you know, this is what people do. It, 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 it's not what everybody does, but this was part of your plan. Like we always thought we might have children. We always thought we were going to get pregnant, you know, it's, and it's just that it's happening now instead of then, but it's okay because, you know, we love each other and, and, um, it's fine. Some of you, some of you, Scorpios, for some of you, not all of you, for some of you, some of you have just met this person. For others of you, this is like, um, you know, you might maybe not have been married very long, or maybe you were just, maybe you just met somebody and you haven't been dating for that long and this happened. Um... And now all of it's all of a sudden it's time to make this big heavy decision. You know? So I do believe that you thought maybe um there would be some resistance. So if this is you that's pregnant, Scorpio, uh um and by the way, folks, it doesn't have to be a pregnancy. I just feel strongly for a lot of you that it is. Um, uh, if it's not, it may be, you know, so like pregnancies are like new beginnings, you know, <laughs> new beginnings or babies. So maybe it's a business venture. Maybe it's a new life. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's some, whatever is new, brand new, and almost like giving birth. Okay. <laughs> Something that's going to grow and that you're going to have to commit to. So, um, I'm using the, the, the baby and the pregnancy, um, theory to, to adequately describe it, but it doesn't mean that that's what it is, but it is something you're going to have to make a big decision about, and it's going to require support from a partner. And also I feel like it can't, like there's no going back. Like, you know, we're going down this road kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and I do think you were anxious, Scorpio. You were anxious about it or you were very nervous about relaying whatever information this was. And you were surprised that they were Gonna give, you're going to be surprised. They're going to give you their support and um, the anxiety gets relieved and um, yeah, they're saying to me, it's about feeling amazing in the sun instead of gloomy in the cold. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> So, um, I mean, maybe for some of you, this is about relocation, but, um, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> I have spring allergies already and I have this tickle in my throat. I'm not sick. I just have a tickle. So, wow. I feel like you guys, before, maybe before you relay, relay the information in March that you, um, it's like you almost either slip away or think about getting a divorce or think about maybe getting rid of the baby or think about, you, it's almost like you wanted to um, bail, but then you decided that you just couldn't. You couldn't avoid this you and you wanted it to be the way you wanted it to be like I want this person to be in this with me you know I don't want to be you know alone hiding out somewhere trying to figure out what's the right thing to do um, I want to I want to be with this person you, you know with this baby on this project in this marriage whatever it is all right Interesting news for you guys, Scorpios. Um, okay. Scorpio, please, for the month of March. The Four Pentacles.
So this card, uh, sorry, I'm just listening to Spirit talk to me. If you're wondering, well, like, why I'm pausing so much, this is what I need to do to, to see the words in my head. So we have the Four of Pentacles to hear. This is the journey. The road that we're on. You can see these two people standing in almost like an explorative dig, maybe in the desert somewhere. And they're um, checking an itinerary and looking at their surrounding. They're, clearly they've been traveling and exploring. There's two people here. They want to know more about the site. They want to know more about the location. They want to know the meaning of why it is here. So this is all, you know, happening and unfolding as you move into it, as things unfold. All right, let's pull one more card for the month of March. Oh, there we go. My goodness. The ten of, I can't tell you how many times I've seen these cards uh, <clears throat> for the month of March. So, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> they just said to me, <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles reaches down and grabs your hand and says, I'm with you. I am with you. <laughs> but this card in this deck means... It's about returning to a place where you maybe were afraid to go back to. And it's like, I feel like this is the, actually they keep describing the way a person is acting to me. So you may be dealing with an earth sign, Scorpio. Um, and in other decks, this card is also the Ten of Pentacles, like is a card of family and solid relationships and very deep roots. Um, it's about, and both of these cards are closely related because they both show, you know, this is the journey and this is kind of what you discover, you know. I had to come back. The person that you're dealing with, they have a, um, they're very good at, at disarming you. And so the anxiety that you may have felt um, thinking about the what's and the why's or why am I doing this or how is this happening to me, all that anxiety that was built up, how much am I going to say, you know, do I keep a secret? It was all instantly forgotten when you made the decision to relay the information. So, mm, 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 mm. there's more where this came from, guys, but I'm going to, I'm going to leave it here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, <laughs> please join me for the extended. Click on the link below. It'll take you to Vimeo. Thank you so much. And I'll see you later.